It's the final day of the most complete circumnavigation by horseback around New Zealand, a giant figure of eight along the coast of both islands. It's taken Larissa Mueller five summers astride her trusty station bred mare Sprite, completing about 20 kilometres each day for a total of 9,000 kilometres. Kiwis, especially farmers and landowners, have just been so generous and, and really helped me out with access through their land and they've gone right, driven out to the back of their farms to unlock gates and organised contact with the neighbours and just been incredible. It's a very slow and peaceful kind of journey, peppered with little bits of adventure when I get, either get a bit lost or a bit stuck somewhere or have a bit of bad weather come through and things like that or I have to camp out on top of a hill somewhere when I couldn't get to where I tried to and things like that. For her last crossing, she decided on the road bridge over the Tukituki River, crossing a lot more confidently than she did five years ago. They started from Clifton Station so that they didn't have to ride straight through a town and or a city, so Napier or Hastings, they wanted to avoid that. The horses were really new to this, hadn't ever sort of been on the road before, and so they just started here for the safest start they could. Today, she crosses the finish line, reuniting with her friend Kendall War at the farm they left eight years ago. I don't think I would have done this without her. We, we fed off each other in terms of confidence and that. She uh, did the whole, from here, Hawke's Bay, down to Wellington, and then the whole way around the South Island with me, which was just a massive achievement. I definitely think it was the harder half of this journey. Um, and then she was sensible and stopped after that. She'd actually met her now husband by then and her life was taking a different path and so um, there was a couple of years gap and then I carried on on my own in the North Island. But not completely alone. Like Kendall, romance found its way into Larissa's life. An old boyfriend was keeping tabs on her journey. An easy thing to do when your ex is carrying a GPS tracker on her horse. I went overseas, came back, um, we reconnected and then I knew she, I'd been following her as well, we'd stayed friends and I knew she'd done the South Island trip, um, so I knew what I was getting into a little bit, I knew she had planned the North Island, she decided oh, I want to continue so I said sweet, let's do it. Oh, so she dumped you? Yeah, yeah! <laughs> yeah, but we, I want her back. <laughs> Alex loves running and every morning scouts any difficult routes, taking photos to show his now fiancé. The relationship with her fiancé is not the only strong bond that has grown over the trip. She's just the best horse. She's, she's so uh, well behaved and, and really sensible and so it's been the perfect partner for me on this trip. And, uh, and she's just blossomed and, uh, and she's become more than half of the team. I don't think I could do this without her, so she's not just like a, a part of my equipment, she's, she's a huge part of this team. As well as a personal challenge, the circumnavigation has been a fundraiser for the Leg Up Trust, raising $15,000 so far. Sprite will now remain with the charity indefinitely, making a connection with people through equine therapy, while Mueller and McFarlane Move to Otago for a well-earned rest. Patrick O'Sullivan, Local Focus.